Hey y'all and welcome to Moner's Market and welcome to my easy peasy lemon squeezy video. I am going to continue my lemon stuff from the other day and this again is a throwback from last year. So let's get into it. So for DIY number one, I made the most adorable little tear tray. Everything that I've made in this video today, I made for my niece's birthday last week. So right now I'm going to show you the drill bits that I use. These are just glass and ceramic drill bits. You can get them for any drill. So these are the little lemon plates that you can get from the Dollar Tree right now. And that little thing right there I got off of Amazon. And it actually, each set has three pieces. So you can make a three-tiered tear tray out of them. And I think it, there was like three black, three silver, and three gold for $11 and something. That is also linked in my Amazon storefront that'll be linked below in my description box. Another thing too, whenever you're drilling, I add a little bit of water because it does tend to get a little bit hot and start with the smallest drill bit just to get your pilot hole. Once you've got your pilot hole, then go to the drill bit that you need to get your little handles down in. Does that make sense? I feel like I said that backwards. <laughs> anyway, once you get the hole started, then put the drill bit on that's big enough to slide your hardware down into. So once I got that done, I was petrified that I was going to break the glass. Like I just knew that it just wasn't going to work and it was going to break, but it didn't and everything was perfect. Now I did set a cup under it where I had some height to the plate and it wasn't like spinning. And that little thing right there I'm pointing out are little grommets. The grommets, the screw, and three pieces come to each little hardware set. So it's literally everything you need to make up to a three-tiered tier tray. And very reasonable price. Super easy to use. And they were very sturdy. They looked a little thin to me, but they were they were very sturdy and held up really, really good. So I just added my hardware. Once I got my hardware added, I got a little damp rag and wiped it all down, and it was ready to go. And I fell in love with it. My niece fell in love with it, and I hope you like the way it turned out, too. So let me know down in the comments below what you think about my little lemon tiered tray. Let me show you what it looked like whenever I was done. How stinking cute is that? And I have less than five dollars in this whole piece and to me it looks super high end and i just love it and it'll last for years and years and years isn't that just adorable so let me know down in the comment like I, in the comments below like i ask you know just i just want to see what you think about it have you ever tried to do anything like this before this is the second one i've done and both of them turned out great so now let me show you a couple of things that this Abcon sent me. The first one is a 10,000 mAh power bank portable charger. And it has like a super duper bright LED flashlight that goes to it. It has two USB ports, two micro USB ports, and a micro B port. It's got four LED battery indicator lights that let you know, you know, like as your battery is losing power itself and when it might need charging. It is so portable and lightweight and it can charge other devices for up to five hours. I know I've charged my phone three different times now and it's only lost half of its power. But y'all look at this gorgeous rose gold desk accessory set that they sent me. It is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna tell you what's in the box and then I'm gonna show it to you but I am so in love with this whole set. It came with a stapler, and I think it had like a thousand staples that came with it. It came with a staple remover, the real pretty tape holder with the tape, a pin holder, a thousand staples. I think I already told you about this thousand staples. The little pin that has the diamond at the top, it's so pretty. Um, a phone holder, scissors, large and small binder clips, paper clips and push pins and a ruler like I mean it had literally everything you could need 
as far as a desk accessory kit goes. And my laptop happens to be rose gold. Look at how beautiful it goes with my laptop. Look at how sleek and how gorgeous this set is. Is that not absolutely stunning? Even the little push pins and stuff are fancy. I love it. I love it. I want to thank them for sending me this set. There will be a link to both of these down in my description box. And you will not be disappointed with either one of them. That charging bank, I've got one that I paid twice as much for and it lose pa loses power twice as fast as this one. So I am super duper excited about having that power bank. I carry it in my backpack that I use, you know, for work. And I've always got something to charge my phone with because, you know, we don't have access to plugs all the time. And that thing is perfect. Like I said, it's super lightweight and so easy to carry. But check the link out below and let's get right back into my video. So for DIY number two, I made this picture. Now the surface that I'm using is an actual chalk couture surface and everything that I'm using in this particular DIY you can find in my description box under my chalk couture link. This is also, I believe it's our May transfer of the month. You can, for $19.99, you can do an exclusive transfer and you'll get the transfer and three coordinating paste each month. There is information about that in my description box. There's a ton of information in my description box if you've never looked at it before. So always, I'm sorry, I just dropped my computer. Always check that out. And there's always lots of uh, good information down in the description box. So what I'm using now is pesto chalk paste. And then once I get my pesto on my leaves, I'm going to go back over the top in some spaces with a sage chalk paste. It's just a little bit lighter green, and I just like mixing them all together and sort of blending and I don't know what it's called. Just, yeah, blending it, I guess. And it gives it a more variegated look, and it looks a little bit more real than it would if... I was just using one color. And then for the lemons, I'm going to go in with two different colors. One is sunny, is it sunny side? Yes, yeah, sunny side. And that's the lighter yellow. And then the darker yellow is bumblebee. And I'm just going to go in and randomly kind of put the two different colors all over the lemons and sort of blend those in together. And then once I get my lemons finished, I'm just going to go in with my bright white paste. Look at that bumblebee. Isn't that a beautiful yellow? I love yellow. Yellow is my happy color. Like I, I would say my favorite color is probably purple, but I always go toward yellow. Like I love anything yellow, especially a shirt. Like I love a pretty yellow shirt or a pretty yellow dress or shoes or jewelry. That's just it's my happy color. So anyway, once I get my white chalk paste on everything, it's done as far as the chalk paste anyway. And look at this reveal. I never, ever, ever get sick of the reveal using chalk couture. I think it's just so much fun. Now with this little messy bow that I'm making, it's all Dollar Tree ribbon. And I'm just cutting several pieces of ribbon I think it was six inches long, and then I'm going to lay it out in sort of an X pattern, and normally when I make my, my bows or I'm doing anything with any type of greenery, I like to use a zip tie, but I was, I'm out of zip ties right now, so I'm using a little piece of this really thin, what is that stuff called, ribbon, and now I'm just, I was going to put it on my little picture the way it was but it was just I don't know it just looked lonely up there so I went outside and grabbed some greenery and some of these really pretty yellow mini roses that came out a couple of years ago when they came out I bought me a whole case of these little flowers and I use them all the time and that to me just made this whole 
picture by adding that greenery and those flowers. Once I got that together, I made just a simple little finger bow out of twine by wrapping it around my hand about 10 times, tying a little piece of twine in the middle, and that was all there was to making that little bow. I glued it down and then glued a couple of those little roses on top of that. I just kind of clipped them off of the end and added it to it. And then once I finished that, I just added my handle, which was nothing but Dollar Tree twine. And that was it. This little thing was done and I fell in love with this picture. And so did Jessica, my niece. She loved literally everything that I got her. Look how pretty that turned out. I think those roses and that greenery are what topped this off and made it absolutely perfect. How stinking cute is that? And of course, there's little lemon ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just love the way this turned out. Look at the colors on that. I love the way Chalk Couture makes their images look worn and rustic and sort of farmhousey. So let's get into DIY number three. This one's super duper quick, super easy. All of these are easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy easy. <laughs> so I'm going to use Apple Barrel's Sunny Day. Now I was calling the Sunny Day and the Sunny Side all like I kept getting confused. But this is Sunny Day by Apple Barrel. It's just a regular little paint and it dries with a matte look. And to me, it makes this whole candle that I'm making because that matte look sort of makes it look old and rustic and worn. And that's just taking my little finger sander and sanding it down and roughing it and bumping it up to make it look even more worn. And then once I get it like I want it, I go in with just a simple little juice cup from the Dollar Tree with the lemons on it and I used some super glue gel and it worked like a charm and I just added it. It's Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel or however you want to say it. Gorilla Super Gel. Anyway, I just used that. I didn't use any hot glue. I let it dry overnight and added a little Dollar Tree candle and again for less than five dollars I have the cutest little lemon DIY. How stinking cute is that? It's driving me crazy because the candle was not even whenever I did this. But, you know, it is what it is. And I can't go back and refilm it because <laughs> I've already given it to her and she lives up in Georgia. But anyway, let me know what you think about this cute little DIY. Now, the last one I'm going to go through really quick because it's super easy and you've seen me do these little beaded garlands a million times, but I wanted to do one. Now, I completely deleted the footage of me doing the little tassel, which was the stinking cutest part of the whole beaded garland. So, what I did is I went in with the sunny day for five of these, and then I went in actually with my sage chalk paint and painted it on the other five and then I took five natural beads and I made this little beaded garland. Then I got this cute, cute, cute lemon fabric from the Dollar Tree and the little tag that you'll see me put it on, those came, I want to say it was like six or eight to a pack for a dollar at Dollar General and I got the little tag cut off a piece of this cute little lemon fabric, glued it down with some Mod Podge, glued it onto the wood with the Mod Podge, and then I went back over it on the top with the Mod Podge. And once I finished that, then, you know, and it was dry, I just took my scissors and cut around the, you know, the edges. Now, this right here is where I messed up. I made my little yarn tassel like I make all my other tassels, but I added one each piece of each ribbon that I used in my picture and then tied it all together. So I hate that I missed showing you that. But I mean, that's literally all I did was added those extra pieces of ribbon to my tassel. And I thought it was so 
stinking cute. And it matched that picture and everything else that I made perfectly. So let me just show you everything together. This is the tear tray and everything else. And that's my little picture. And I love, love, love the way this all came together. So definitely let me know down in the comments what you think about all of my easy peasy lemon squeezy DIYs. I love them. I think they are cute and they could not have been any easier. So thank you for coming to Monner's Market and watching my easy peasy lemon squeezy video. This is the second installment of my lemon DIYs that I wanted to do for you. And I will see you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. with some wood DIYs where I'm going to be working with some more wood blanks. I am obsessed with wood right now. If for some reason you've never been to my channel before, my name is Brenda. But my sweet grandbabies call me Monner. And for those of you who are here every week in the live chat with me, thank you so much for always supporting me. It means the world to me. I will see you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.